there are various methods to calculate the day of the week for any particular date in the past or future. These methods ultimately rely on algorithms to determine the day of the week for any given date, including those based solely on tables as found in perpetual calendars that require no calculations to be performed by the user. A typical application is to calculate the day of the week on which someone was born or any other specific event occurred. Introduction to determine the day of the week from numerical operations, Sunday to Saturday is represented as numbers. This is achieved with arithmetic modulo 7. Modulo 7 is an operation that calculates the remainder of a number being divided by 7. Thus the number 7 is treated as 0, 8 as 1, 9 as 2, 18 as 4 and so on. The interpretation of this being that if Sunday is signified as day 0, then seven days later is also a Sunday, and day 18 will be the same as day 4, which is a Thursday since this falls four days after Sunday. The basic approach of nearly all of the methods to calculate the day of the week begins by starting from an A-Euro anchored at A-Euro unregistered trademark a known pair, determining the number of days between the known day and the day that you are trying to determine, and using arithmetic modulo 7 to find a new numerical day of the week. One standard approach is to look up the value of the first day of the week of a given century, look up an adjustment for the month, calculate the number of leap years since the start of the century, and then add these together along with the number of years since the start of the century, and the day number of the month. Eventually, one ends up with a day count on which one applies modulo 7 to determine the day of the week of the date. Some methods do all the additions first and then cast out 7s, whereas others cast them out at each step, as in Lewis Carroll's method. Either way is quite viable, the former is easier for calculators and computer programs. The latter for mental calculation. None of the methods given here perform range checks, so that unreasonable dates will produce erroneous results. Useful concepts, corresponding months, corresponding months are those months within the calendar year that start on the same day. For example, September and December correspond, because September 1st falls on the same day as December 1st. Months can only correspond if the number of days between their first days is divisible by 7, or in other words, if their first days are a whole number of weeks apart. For example, February corresponds to March because February has 28 days, a number divisible by 7, 28 days being exactly 4 weeks. In a leap year, January and February correspond to different months than in a common year, since February 29th means each subsequent month starts a day later. The months correspond thus, for common years, January and October. February, March and November. April and July. No month corresponds to August. For leap year, January, April and July. February and August. March and November. No month corresponds to October. For all years, September and December. No month corresponds to May or June. In the months table below, corresponding months have the same number, a fact which follows directly from the definition. Corresponding years, there are seven possible days that a year can start on, and leap years will alter the day of the week after February 29th. This means that there are 14 configurations that a year can have. All the configurations can be referenced by a dominical letter. For example, 2011 is a common year starting on Saturday, meaning that 2011 corresponds to the 2005 calendar year. 2012, on the other hand, is a leap year starting on Sunday, meaning that the first two months of the year begin on the same day as they do in 2006 but because of leap day the last 10 months correspond to the last 10 months in 2007. A tabular method to calculate the day of the week, basic method for mental calculation, this method is valid for both the Gregorian calendar and the Julian calendar. Britain and its colonies started using the Gregorian calendar on Thursday, September 14, 1752. The previous day was Wednesday, September 2, 1752. The areas now forming the United States adopted the calendar at different times depending on the colonial power. Spain and France had been using it since 1582, while Russia was still using the Julian calendar when Alaska was purchased from it in 1867. The formula is, where, d is the day of the month, 
m is the month's number in the month's table, y is the last two digits of the year, and c is the century number. For a Gregorian date, this is 6 if the first two digits of the year are evenly divisible by 4, and subsequent centuries are 4 2 0. For a Julian date, this is 6 for 1200, and subsequent centuries subtract 1 until 0, when the next century is 6. If the result is 0, the date was a Sunday. If 1 it was a Monday, and so on through the week until 6 equals Saturday. Days table, months table, years table, centuries table, complete table, for determination of the day of the week, the day of the month, 1 to 31, the month, 1 for January 12 for December, the year, 2000 to 99 mod 28 and italic for January or February in leap years, the century mod 4 for the Gregorian calendar and mod 7 for the Julian calendar. For determination of the dominical letter of a year, the century column, from the century row to sun which is in the column and in the row, the dominical letter, mon for a sun for g from the year row to the century column. For the Gregorian date of January 1, 2000, the day of the month, January 1 in the month's table, 6, last two digits of year, 0, century number, 6, the result is 13, leaving a remainder of 6 when divided by 7, so January 1, 2000 was a Saturday. For the Julian date of October 13, 1307, the day of the month, October 13 in the month's table, 0, last two digits of year divided by 4, 1, last two digits of year, 7. The result is 26, leaving a remainder of 5 when divided by 7, so October 13, 1307 was a Friday. Gauss algorithm, in a handwritten note in a collection of astronomical tables, Carl Friedrich Gauss described a method for calculating the day of the week for the 1st of January in any given year. He never published it. It was finally included in his collected works in 1927. Gauss' method was applicable to the Gregorian calendar. He numbered the weekdays from 0 to 6 starting with Sunday. He defined the following operation, the weekday of the 1st of January in year number A is where R, Y, M, is the remainder after division of Y by M, or Y modulo M. This formula was also converted into tabular methods for calculating any day of the week by Krejcik and Schwertweger. Formulas derived from Gauss's algorithm, the Gauss formula for January 1st can be converted into methods for calculating the day of the week for any given date as follows. For the Gregorian calendar, letter, 1 equals year equals y, m equals month, 2 mod 12 and d equals days of the month, this formula becomes letter, 1 equals year equals y plus 100 c, this formula becomes for the Julian calendar. Note year, 1 for January and February. For January 1, 2000, the date would be treated as the 11th month of 1999, d equals 1, 2.6 a, 11-0.2 equals 28 mod 7 equals 0, 5 r, 99, 4, equals 5 a, 3 equals 15 mod 7 equals 1, 4 r, 1,999,100 equals 4 a, 99 mod 7 equals 4 a, 1 equals 4, 6 r, 1,999,400 equals 6 a, 399 mod 7 equals 6 a, 0, equals 0, 3 r, 99, 7, equals 3 a, 1 equals 3, 5 r, 19, 4, equals 5 a, 3 mod 7 equals 1 what equals 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 0 equals 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 equals 6 equals Saturday. For December 31, 2000, the date would be treated as the 10th month of the year, d equals 31 mod 7 equals 3, 2.6 a, 10-0.2 equals 25 mod 7 equals 4, 5 r, 00, 4, equals 5 a, 0 equals 0. 4 r, 2 million 100 equals 4 a, 0 equals 0, 6 r, 2 million 400 equals 6 a, 0 equals 0, 3 r, 00, 7, equals 3 a, 0 equals 0, 5 r, 20, 4, equals 5 a, 0 equals 0 what's equals?
3 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 3 plus 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 equals 7 mod 7 equals 0 equals Sunday. For April 30, 1777, the date would be treated as the second month of the year, d equals 30 mod 7 equals 2, 2.6 a, 2 dash 0 0.2 equals 5, 5 a, 77, 4, equals 5 a, 1 equals 5, 4 a, 1,777,100 equals 4 a, 77 mod 7 equals 0, 6 a, 1,777,400 equals 6 a, 177 mod 7 equals 6 a, 2 mod 7 equals 5, 3 a, 77, 7 equals 3 a, 0 equals 0, 5 a, 17, 4 equals 5 a, 1 equals 5 watts equals 2 plus 5 plus 5 plus 0 plus 5 equals 17 mod 7 equals 3 equals Wednesday. For October 4, 1582, the date would be treated as the eighth month of the year, d equals 4, 2.6 a, 8 a euro 2.2 equals 4, 5 a, 82, 4, equals 5 a, 2 mod 7 equals 3, 3 a, 1582, 7, equals 3 a, 0 equals 0, 3 a, 82, 7, equals 3 a, 5 mod 7 equals 1, 6 a, 15, 7 equals 6 a, 1 equals 6 watts equals 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 0 mod 7 equals 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 plus 6 mod 7 equals 4 equals Thursday. For January 1st 2000, the date would be treated as the 11th month of the previous year, d equals 1, 2.6 a, 11 a euro 2.2 equals 5, 5 a, minus 1, 4, equals 5 a, 3 mod 7 equals 1, 3 r minus 1 7 equals 3 a, 6 mod 7 equals 4 3 r minus 1 7 equals 3 a, 6 mod 7 equals 4 6 r 0 7 equals 6 a, 0 equals 0 what's equals 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 4 mod 7 equals 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 4 plus 0 mod 7 equals 4 equals Thursday Krejcik's algorithm Krejcik proposed two methods for calculating the day of the week. One is a graphical method. The other uses the formula. Where W is the day of the week. And D, M, C and Y are numbers depending on the day, month, and year is in the following tables. For the Gregorian calendar, take the century of the year. For the Julian calendar, finally, the year number is obtained from this table. Schwetfiger's variation, in the version by Schwetfiger, the year is split into the century and the two-digit year within the century. The approach depends on the month. For M A per mil 3 N. So G is between 0 and 99. For M equals 1, 2. The formula for the day of the week is. Where the positive modulus is chosen. The value of E is obtained from the following table. The value of F is obtained from the following table, which depends on the calendar. For the Gregorian calendar. For the Julian calendar, other variations, another variation of the above algorithm works with fewer lookup tables. A slight disadvantage is the unusual month and year counting convention. The formula is where y is the year minus 1 for January or February, and the year for the rest of the year, y is the last two digits of y, c is the first two digits of y, d is the day of the month, m is the shifted month, w is the day of week. For example, January 1, 2000. Year 1 for January. Note, the first is only for OO leap year and the second is for any OO years. The term, 2.6 m, 0.2 mod 7 gives the values of months, m. Months m, January 0, February 3, March 2, April 5, May 0, June 3, July 5, August 1, September 4. October 6, November 2, December 4. The term y plus, y slash 4, mod 7 gives the values of years, y. y mod 28 y, 0107 12 18 a euro 1, 02 a euro 30 19 24 2, 0308 14 a euro 25 3, 09 15 20 26 4, 0410 a euro 21 27 5, 
05 11 16 22 a euro 6, 06 a euro 17 23 00. The term, C slash 4, 2C mod 7 gives the values of centuries, C. C mod 4 C, 1 5, 2 3, 3 1, 0 0. Now from the general formula. January 1, 2000 can be recalculated as follows, D equals 1, M equals 0, Y equals 5, C equals 0, D equals 1, M equals 0, Y equals 4, C equals 1. Other purely mathematical algorithms, Zeller a Euro unregistered trademark S algorithm. In Zeller a Euro unregistered trademark S algorithm, the months are numbered from 3 for March to 14 for February. The year is assumed to begin in March. This means, for example, that January 1995 is to be treated as month 13 of 1994. The formula for the Gregorian calendar is where y is the year minus 1 for January or February, and the year for the rest of the year, y is the last two digits of y, c is the first two digits of y, d is the day of the month, m is the shifted month, w is the day of week. The only difference is one between Zeller a Euro unregistered trademark S algorithm and Gaussian algorithm, that is Z, G equals 1 equals Sunday. So we can get the values of months from those for Gaussian algorithm by adding 1. Months M, January 1, February 4, March 3, April 6, May 1, June 4, July 6, August 2, September 5, October 0, November 3, December 5. Tarndering's algorithm, Claude's Tarndering's algorithm uses a variant of the method of congruence used by Gauss, thereby shifting month numbers by the same amount, and arriving at the same adjustment for a given month. It differs from the rest of the Gaussian algorithm by not splitting off the nominal century from the year, and by dividing itself into separate equations, the last being equivalent term for term to the expression used in Sakamoto's method to calculate the day of the week. Dean's algorithm, Steve Dine a Euro unregistered trademark S method is to first find the day of the week of the first calendar day January 1st, 0001. This has to be done to establish the remainder number based on which the day of the week is determined for the latter part of the analysis. By using the current day August 13, 2009 which was a Thursday as a reference, with N and N being the number of days and weeks it has been since 01001 to the current day, respectively in k the day into the current week which must be less than 7, and is expressed as n equals 7 n plus k. Knowing that a year divisible by 4 or 400 is a leap year while a year divisible by 100 and not 400 is not a leap year, a software program can be written to find the number of days. Following is a subroutine of a complete C program. Static char data 2, 13, equals, 0, 31, 28, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31, 0, 31, 29, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31. 4. Leap equals year percent for 0. If. Leap equals 0. 4. Days plus equals date up, leap, month, 1. Days total equals 365, year, 1, plus floor year 1 closing round bracket over 4 closing round bracket, floor year, 1, slash 100, plus floor year, 1, slash 400, plus days. It is found that days total n equals 733,632. This total number of days can be verified with a simple calculation, there are already 2008 full years since 01001. The total number of days in 2008 years not counting the leap days is 365 a, 2008 equals 732,920 days. Assume that all years divisible by 4 are leap years. Add 2008 quarters equals 502 to the total. Then subtract the 15 leap days because the years divisible by 100 are not leap. 
Continue by adding to the new total the number of days in the first seven months of 2009 that have already passed which are 31 plus 28 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 plus 30 plus 31 equals 212 days in the 13 days of August to get n equals 732,920 plus 502 a euro 20 plus 5 plus 212 plus 13 equals 733,632. What this means is that it has been 733,632 days since that first day January 1st, 0001. Substitute the value of n into the above equation to get 733,632 equals 7a, 104,804 plus 4. N equals 104,804 and K equals 4 which implies that August 13, 2009 is the fourth day into 104,805th week since 010001. The fourth day of the week is Thursday. Therefore, the first day of the week must be Monday, and it is concluded that the first day 01001 of the calendar is Monday. Based on this, the remainder of the ratio days total slash 7, denoted R, decides what day of the week it is. If R equals 0, e to euro unregistered trademark s Sunday, R equals 1, e to euro unregistered trademark s Monday, R equals 2, e to euro unregistered trademark s Tuesday, R equals 3, e to euro unregistered trademark s Wednesday, R equals 4, e to euro unregistered trademark s Thursday, R equals 5, e to euro unregistered trademark s Friday, R equals 6, e to euro unregistered trademark s Saturday. Let variables y and d be the current year and the number of days into the current year, respectively. It can be written. Days total equals 365, y a euro 1, plus, y a euro 1, slash 4, a euro, y a euro 1, slash 100, plus, y a euro 1, slash 400, plus d. Where, m denotes the integral part that is equal or less than m. For example, 2.31 equals 2. The formula for the remainder is now r equals 365, y a euro 1, plus, y a euro 1, slash 4, a euro, y a euro 1, slash 100, plus, y a euro 1, slash 400, plus d slash 7 equals 364, y a euro 1, plus plus, Y a euro one slash four a euro Y a euro one slash one hundred plus Y a euro one slash four hundred plus D slash seven equals Y a euro one plus Y a euro one slash four a euro Y a euro one slash one hundred plus Y a euro one slash four hundred plus d slash 7 since 364 is divisible by 7 and the result is not changed by dropping the term 364, y a euro 1, from the formula. Now let a equals y a euro 1, b equals, y a euro 1, slash 4, c equals, y a euro 1, slash 100, and d equals, y a euro 1, slash 400, where a is the previous year. For example A equals 2013 for year 2014, B is the integral part of the ratio A slash 4, C is A without or Euro unregistered trademark S last two digits, D is B without bar Euro unregistered trademark S last two digits, and D is the number of days into the current year. R is the remainder of slash 7. Comparing the remainder R with a given data above gives the day of the week of any calendar day. Other methods. Lewis Carroll's method, Charles Lutwidge Dodgson devised a method resembling a puzzle, yet partly the same as the tabular method given above, he lists the same three adjustments for the first three months, one seven higher for the last, and gives cryptic instructions for finding the rest. His adjustments for centuries are to be determined using formulas identical to those for the centuries table. Although claiming to use a modification for old style dates, the one he uses to determine that 1676, February 23rd is a Wednesday, only works on the new style Julian calendar. Algorithm, take the given date in four portions, viz. The number of centuries, the number of years over, the month, the day of the month. Compute the following four items, adding each, when found, to the total of the previous items. 
when an item or total exceeds 7, divide by 7, and keep the remainder only. The sentry item for old style subtract from 18. For new style divide by 4, take over plus from 3, multiply remainder by 2. The year item add together the number of dozens, the overplus, and the number of fours in the overplus. The month item if it begins or ends with a vowel, subtract the number, denoting its place in the year, from 10. This, plus its number of days, gives the item for the following month. The item for January is 0. For February or March, 3. For December, 12. The day item the total, thus reached, must be corrected, by deducting 1, if the date be January or February in a leap year, remembering that every year, divisible by 4, is a leap year, excepting only the century years, in new style, when the number of centuries is not so divisible. The final result gives the day of the week, 0 meaning Sunday, 1 Monday, and so on. Examples, 1783, September 18, 17, divided by 4 leaves 1 over. 1 from 3 gives 2. Twice 2 is 4. 83 is 6 dozen and 11, giving 17. Plus 2 gives 19, that is 5. Total 9, that is 2 the item for August is 8 from 10, that is 2. So, for September, it is 2 plus 31, that is 5 total 7, that is 0, which goes out. 18 gives 4. Answer. Thursday. 1676, February 23rd. 16 from 18 gives 276 is 6 dozen and 4, giving 10. Plus 1 gives 11, that is 4. Total 6 the item for February is 3. Total 9, that is 223 gives 2. Total 4 correction for leap year gives 3. Answer. Wednesday, in 1752, the British Empire adopted the Gregorian calendar which supersedes its use of the new style Julian calendar. The Gregorian calendar has become today's standard calendar in most countries of the world. For more background, see Gregorian calendar. Implementation Dependent Methods of Sakamoto, Lachman, Keith and Craver, in the C language expressions below, Y, M and ER, respectively, integer variables representing the year, month and day of the month. Percent 7. In 1990, Michael Keith and Tom Craver published the foregoing expression that seeks to minimize the number of keystrokes needed to enter a self-contained function for converting a Gregorian date into a numerical day of the week. It preserves neither Y nor D, and returns 0 equals Sunday, 1 equals Monday, etc. Shortly afterwards, Hans Lachmann streamlined their algorithm for ease of use on low-end devices. As designed originally for four function calculators, his method needs fewer keypad entries by limiting its range either to AD 1905 to 2099, or to historical Julian dates. It was later modified to convert any Gregorian date, even on an abacus. On Motorola 68000 based devices, there is similarly less need of either processor registers or opcodes. The tabular forerunner to Tarndering's algorithm is embodied in the following ANSIC function. With minor changes, it is adaptable to other high-level programming languages such as APL2 are devised by Tomohiko Sakamoto in 1993, it is accurate for any Gregorian date. Percent 7. Int DAO, int Y, int M, int D, static int T equals 0, 3, 2, 5, 0, 3, 5, 1, 4, 6, 2, 4. Y equals M less than 3. Return percent 7. The function does not always preserve Y, and returns 0 equals Sunday, 1 equals Monday, etc. Babwani's method, so Ail Babwani developed an alternative method that enables one not only to find the day of the week but also a date, when the day, month and year are given. It uses a month table in a manner identical to the one above, and numbers months normally from 1 for January to 12 for December. See also Doomsday Rule, Julian Day Calculation, Mental Calculation World Cup, Perpetual Calendar, Perpetual Calendar of 800 Years, References External links
compact tabular method for memorization, also for the Julian calendar, an algorithm for both Gregorian and Julian calendars, when countries changed from the Julian calendar, world records for mentally calculating the day of the week in the Gregorian calendar, a recent reworking of the method of Keith and Craver eliminating the need to recall a value for each year. A trainer for mental calculation of the day of the week.